Hey everyone, my name is Jessie and welcome back to my channel. And so for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some delicious spring thyme appetizers. One is going to be a caprese style crostini, and then the other one is going to be some baked brie wrapped in some delicious puff pastry. And so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is make our crostini, which is going to be our crusty bread. So I'm just taking half of a baguette and I'm just going to start making slices on a diagonal. So we're just going to take like a little bread knife, be careful, and just cut them very well. And they're going to kind of look like this, and so I'm just going to continue to do that with the rest of my bread. Okay, all of our bread is sliced. They just look like a little diamond shape here. And so I'm going to take, oops, I'm going to take a baking sheet and just put them on top of it. Okay, next we are going to take some extra virgin olive oil and just lightly drizzle it. Just a little, just enough to get a little moisture. Okay, just like that, and I'm just going to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Okay, that looks good, and now I'm just going to pop this in the oven at 350 degrees until they're nice and crispy, maybe about 10, 15 minutes and then we can pull these out. Okay, so while our bread is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the other ingredients. And so I'm just taking a handful of cherry tomatoes and I'm just cutting them in half. And just like that. And these are going on top of our crostinis. And it's gonna be so good. So I'm just going to continue to cut them and then we're going to start on our next step. Okay, so we got our tomatoes all sliced and now we are going to take some fresh mozzarella and just cut those up as well. And I got the pre-sliced kind and so all I'm going to do is just cut them in half. So they're pre-sliced just like this and I'm just going to cut them in half so that they fit on top of our crostini. So you just need a couple of slices, just depending on how many crostinis you want to make, depends on how many you are going to need. So I'm just going to continue to cut these and then we can start on the next step. Okay, and so we got our mozzarella all ready to go and now I'm just going to take a couple of leaves of basil. Fresh basil smells so good. But these are pretty big leaves and so all I'm going to do is just make a pile into them and just cut them in half. That way they can fit easier on our crostinis. So let's make the pile nice and even. Let's see. Okay, and now I'm just gonna cut them in half. Okay. And that is our pile of basil. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, and so now we're just going to wait for our crostinis to be ready and then we can start assembling these. Okay, so our crostinis just came out of the oven. I gave them a couple of minutes to cool down just so I'm able to handle them. And so now we can start assembling. And I have this beautiful platter that we are going to serve the crostinis on. And so let's go and get started. So I'm just going to take a piece of the bread and then I'm going to add a slice of the mozzarella and then a slice of the basil. Actually, let's do it this way. That way you can see all the layers. Okay, and so I did the bread, the basil, and then the mozzarella. And I'm going to add a couple of slices of tomato. And there you have it. So I'm just gonna make a couple more. Some of the beautiful basil fresh mozzarella and a couple of the tomato slices and look how pretty that is 
I love it. Okay, hey, and that is our Caprese Cristinis. Okay, so now I have to make one for myself, and so I'm just gonna get some of that. Get a little bit of the tomato. Now let's try it. Did you hear that crunch from the bread? And you get the freshness from the basil, and then you get the juiciness from the mozzarella and the tomatoes. This is so good. This is such an amazing appetizer, and it's super quick and easy to whip up. All you gotta do is just toast the bread for a couple of minutes, and boom, you're good to go. Oh my gosh, guys, these are so good. Okay, so for our next appetizer, I'm going to be showing you how to make baked brie wrapped in some puff pastry and all you need is a sheet of puff pastry a reel of brie and then any jam of your choice i'm using grape but you can use apple jam apricot jam orange jam whatever you prefer and so let's get started okay so the first thing you want to do is just to fold out your puff pastry because usually when you buy it it comes in a box and then it's wrapped into thirds so just kind of fold it out make sure you just have a flat surface and if you need to just put those seams together just like I did here and then you are going to take a eight ounce reel of um, brie cheese and you don't have to do this step but I cut the top right off you can skip that if you want I just decided to cut it off and then I'm going to take some grape jam and just spoon it on top Make sure it's nice and thick and covered. And you're gonna get like the sweetness from the jam and then like the salty savoriness from the cheese. And it's just gonna be an amazing combination. So just a little bit, just spread it out. Okay, and then we are going to flip it over on top of our puff pastry. And just like that, make sure it's nice and centered. And then you're going to roll your brie cheese in the puff pastry. So bring in all the edges. Just like that. Make sure you're nice and tucked in. And then there you have it. Okay, so our brie is nice and wrapped, and I'm just going to put this on top of a baking sheet with some parchment paper, and just put it in the center. Just like this, make sure it's all nice and tight. Perfect. All right, and so now we are going to do an egg wash, and an egg wash is just an egg with a splash of water, and I'm just going to brush the puff pastry with a little bit of that egg wash. And basically what the egg wash does is makes it nice and light golden brown for our pastry. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Okay, and so now we are going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so I just pulled our brie out of the oven and it is looking absolutely amazing but you definitely do not want to cut into this right away because if you do while it's still hot the cheese is just going to melt and go everywhere and just going to have a big mess and so i would say let this cool down for a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes and then feel free to dig in but i really hope you enjoyed this video you guys and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine but until next time i will see y'all in my next video Bye.